Hello there and welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube. I keep thinking that I've made all the videos about optical media that I plan on producing for a lifetime and then I realize that I have just one more idea for a video. As I've discussed previously, I'm a big fan of using a relatively obscure form of optical media technology called the M-Disc. It's basically a version of the Blu-ray that's been especially engineered to store data for long periods while sitting cold on a shelf. However, many data managers and archivists think that regular old Blu-rays are perfectly good and reliable for their data archiving needs. And I'm not here to convince anybody either way. There are other forms of optical media besides Blu-ray and, and M-Disc on the market. Consider, for instance, DVDs and CDs. However, given that the capacity of these media is a lot smaller than Blu-rays, I'm going to be looking at optical media archiving through the lens of that particular medium for this video. Reason one, there are no subscription costs. Unlike uploading your photo or video data to a cloud provider, there are no monthly subscriptions to pay to simply hold your data in cold storage. Using optical media, especially the M-Disc, allows you to commit your data to cold storage, which basically means that it just sits on a shelf indefinitely. Unlike other forms of storage medium, such as hard drives, SDDs, and flash media, some of these storage media are actually designed to hold data in cold states safely. This means that you should be able to store your data for long periods of time without having to worry about bit rot, which is a physical erosion of data due to uh, mechanistic forces like a gradual loss of magnetism. Reason two, there is no electricity required. Unlike storing your photo and video data on a computer like a desktop, an NES, or even a server in the cloud, you don't need any electricity whatsoever to keep your archive data on cold storage. The downside of this is that, unlike information stored on the cloud, your data isn't online and therefore quickly retrievable. However, for data stored for common archival purposes, like mandatory data retention or just to keep a second backup copy of, for example, photo and video data, this shouldn't be a deal breaker. Reason three, it's actually really easy to scale. Another advantage of using optical media to store the data you need to archive, like copies of your photos, videos, or also audio recordings, is that it's a pretty easy form of storage to scale. While optical media can't hold a huge volume of information on each disk, it doesn't take up that much physical space to store them. And it's easy to simply buy more CD binders as you create more disks. Systems like network attached storage devices, better known as NASs, have many advantages for storing data that needs to be accessed frequently. However, upgrading them to add more live storage can entail some network planning and hardware additions. Although in many respects, optical media is a far more basic technology you can actually use it to scale your archive pretty easily. Reason four, it's very quick to read. If you do need to access the data that you've archived onto optical media, another advantage is that it's generally relatively quick to do so. All that's physically required is tracking down the right disk containing the file you need, popping it into a Blu-ray reader, and then connecting that to your computer. I've been building a stock video library on M-Disc for about the past year and a half. Although my library is offline, in the event that I need to retrieve a shoot or a particular piece of stock footage, I can just copy and paste it onto my working computer that I edit on in just a couple of minutes. Reason five, it's pretty cheap to get started. I recorded a video last week, I'll put a link in the description, outlining all the hardware you need to get started if you plan on using the M-Disc as your format of choice for video archiving. Overall, it's a pretty cheap technology. The writers cost about $100 on Amazon and the spindles of discs cost approximately $50 for a 25 pack. This actually compares extremely favorably to LTO, commonly abbreviated as tape, which is a technology for archiving that is very popular in the enterprise environment. While LTO is considerably cheaper when comparing the cost of the storage media on a per gigabyte basis, the drives themselves are vastly more expensive, commonly costing upwards of $5,000. 
A big advantage of using Blu-ray optical media or M-Discs for your archiving is that the costs to get started aren't prohibitive for many users. It may seem counterintuitive to go back to Blu-ray when it comes to archiving your personal data such as photos and videos. However, there are actually a lot of reasons it makes a lot of sense. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have other reasons or you disagree with my ones, feel free to leave a comment below and thank you for watching.